Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. But enough of that said, let's get real and let's get there really, really fast. Let's support one another. And it's as simple as that. How often in this life do people get carried away with trying to be better than someone, than trying to look better than someone or act better than someone or portray somebody for their own advances and to get on in life in a whole host of reasons. And quite frankly, we really do need to concentrate on being there for one another in this life. Whether that be somebody we come across in the street, whether that be somebody who is dear to us, or whether that be somebody who we've known for years, but yet we have an already assumption made that they would never ever suffer with anything in terms of mental health, or they may need a helping hand through any type of situation. Life can be difficult. I don't need to tell anybody that. Life can be difficult for many people. Myself, I've suffered with health problems, I've suffered with mental health issues, I've suffered with, I'll be honest, depression. Through bereavement, through health, through many, many things. Yesterday was a huge wake up call for me because somebody who I have known for a very, very long time and very, very close to uh, decided that they, uh, and, I, and I thought it was really strange because this person hadn't been themselves. And you know what? I think that is something which we need to watch out for. Um, when you are going through something, it's very, very easy to hypothetically pull the shutters down and wear a very fake smile. And sometimes what that person does in those moments really does um, eventually come unraveled, is to speak. It usually starts to be too much of a charade to carry on with, the cracks start to show. And you could say that I picked up on the cracks yesterday um, with this particular person. Now, I won't go into it, but this particular person shocked me and I feel guilty myself, just the extent of the problem. Now, as I say, I'm not going to go into any personal details. I'm going to uh, try and stay away from names and um, sort of personal information and things, but this person really did surprise me. So I suppose what I'm trying to say is with the greatest one in the world, when we think we know somebody, when we think we know them literally like the back of your hand, don't always be quick to assume that that person can handle everything what life throws at them. To be fair, once upon a time, or one week or one month or a certain time period, somebody may well be able to handle everything in life, but it doesn't take much to slip. We all slip in life. Some worse than others. Some sadly come crashing down. And it's up to people in society, friends, family, and even just if you can be that helping hand for somebody who even you may not know, to be that person, to perhaps give them that slight nudge or to hold out your hand so they don't come crashing down, hopefully to a fall so bad. Hopefully it's just a slip. And within a certain few moments or a few steps or or the right support, the right the right sort of um, assistance in life, then they can get back up from that jolt in life and they can be back on this back on that mental health pathway of sunshine and happiness and blue skies. Now, I know all too well that life doesn't work like that. And what I'm trying to get across here is this isn't just when somebody has a off day. It's not just when somebody is feeling a little bit down. It's when that person changes. It's when that person, when you think back on all different situations, they've never really genuinely been happy for a little while, or they struggle to express how they're feeling, or you may find that that person gets a little bit more stressed out than what they usually would, or perhaps they've gone from being a comedian to somebody who is starting to get upset and starting to struggle with emotions. What I'm saying is we need to support one another. Now, I don't just mean friends and family. If you're walking down the street, sometimes 
And I'm not saying that you have to ask a hundred questions or reel a hundred things off to a random person. Just sometimes, if you see something or if you come across somebody, just hello or good morning or are you okay? can be the absolute power of good, can do the world of good in lifting somebody out to think, actually, do you know what? I was acknowledged. I was acknowledged. And what I'm feeling is very, very real. That person will very quickly turn around and say to you, yes, I'm fine. But just that acknowledgement can sometimes make the power of difference. All I said yesterday was, tell me about it. And from that simple phrase, tell me about it, I discovered that this person who was very close to me, very dear to me, came tumbling down and actually that there was a huge cascade of, to be honest, mental health issues, which had gone unnoticed for a long time. And this person was trying to hide this. This person was trying to walk this world with some horrible things going on in their head. But on the surface of it, there are smart, intelligent, hardworking person which you would think would never take notice of small things. You would think that they could handle the world. You would think that they haven't got time for those type of thoughts. They haven't got time for overthinking because they've got life so sussed out and they're flying high in life and they've got everything sussed. But you know what? Sometimes the facade which people make out, I'm starting to quickly realise, even from my own advice on my channel, is that actually the more of an impression they make, whether it be a whole host of things in life, it's actually probably that genuinely inside, they're screaming out for help. And I picked up on that yesterday, and all I said was, tell me about it. Number one, I feel guilty. I feel a bit of a fool for letting this kind of carry on and for me not picking up on it sooner. But you know what? <sighs> it's made me really evaluate that actually the things I worry about in the grand scheme of things aren't really that important. I know that doesn't take away from the things what mean a lot to me. I'm not belittling my own thoughts and emotions and feelings, but actually sometimes when we actually take that time to try to understand or actually try to hold your hand out to somebody, you can get a real download for yourself to feel actually what is important in this life. And for somebody else, they can really offload. And if they feel comfortable enough with you, it will do them the power of good. It won't solve anything. But in that spur of the moment, it will give them that release. It will give them that ability to connect if you hold your hand out. Now, do you know what? Sometimes the first time, the second time, the third time, it's not it's not going to work. This particular person for a couple of weeks now, I've been saying, we've got to meet up. We've got to do this. We've got to do that. Let's have a chat. Because I kind of sense that it's kind of closing down on me type thing. And it was unusual, but I never really thought of the extent of the problem behind all of that. And I found out truly yesterday. So I think what I'm trying to say here, and it's been playing on my mind a lot, let's be there for one another. Do you know what? You don't even have to know that person hugely to just turn around and say, you don't see yourself, are you okay? If you're at work and somebody perhaps is completely, completely different recently, Next time, when you're in a little bit more of a private environment, perhaps just say, are you OK? Because mark my words, they won't tell you their life story. And if they do, then do you know what? Sometimes take that as an absolute blessing to think that actually you are that nice and good of a person. That person feels comfortable enough to be able to relate to you, to break down, to offload to you. And do you know what? This life is far too busy. We all know that. But when that happens, please be sure to take an extra moment and please just breathe and listen. Because in that moment, you'll grow, you'll develop yourself. And yet actually that other person is building on trying to escape whatever is going on with them. And it, whether it be seconds, minutes or an hour, you will be helping. You really will. Let's be there for one another. And I'm not saying you have to do that. It could just literally be as simple as, are you okay? The person's been acknowledged. You're starting to actually give them something already. And the next time you see them, I notice that such and such happened the other day or you weren't quite yourself. You want to talk about it? It just flows. Sometimes it just flows. Now, I know that's not always going to be appropriate and I know that's not always going to be the case. 
sometimes when someone's just really, really down, just saying, perhaps, do you know what? Perhaps even just saying something nice about whatever they've done, or perhaps if you're uh, managing this person, or perhaps if you're a supervisor, or perhaps it's a colleague of yours, acknowledging that work, giving them a compliment, acknowledging something new about them, possibly, acknowledging what's going on. Do you know what we're coming into the festive season? What better way than to relate to somebody, than to talk to somebody, than to pick up a conversation with somebody? In the long run, in the short term, you're helping them hugely. Let's be there for one another. I truly do hold on to this in my life that we have but one life. Why would you not want to spend it by doing good and helping others? I always say, and I always say this, and some people in my family don't agree with me, um, but I always say that I concentrate and work hard on doing good in this life and putting good things out there because in the end, the good we put into this life will make its way back round to our own life. So the good which we pass on to somebody will, in the end, come back round and make its way back round to us. I truly do believe that. Um, huge things have gone on lately, and without mentioning names, without connecting to the actual story, I just want to express that. that let's be there for one another. It can be as simple or as in-depth as you want it to be, but even just the smallest of thing can make a huge, valuable difference. Thanks very much for being there. Thanks very much for listening to this. And I really hope that you can relate to that as well. If you want to leave me a question, if you want to leave me anything at all down below, I will do my utmost best to get back to you as quick as I can. God bless. Take great care. And next time, say, for example, you're just going to walk past something. Perhaps you're a bit busy. Perhaps you've got something else going on. It could just be a simple word, a simple, how are you? Or it even could just be an acknowledgement. That acknowledgement can be so powerful, so eye-opening. Giving that someone, wow, someone's acknowledged me. I'm not just in this situation on my own. I may be feeling down today, but someone's actually looked at me. Someone's acknowledged me. Just the power of one small phrase, question, that little snippet of your time out of your busy schedule today can make a huge difference. And as I say, concentrate on doing good in this life. And in the end, it will make its way back to you. And as I always say, there is good in all of us. You've just got to find it sometimes. As I say, thank you very much, and um, I really hope that that's connected with you. Um, it means so lot, uh, so much to me that actually um, I feel very privileged that this person actually felt that they could open up and talk to me. Um, so please do hold on to that as well. Um, on that note, thank you very much for listening. God bless. Take great care. And until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye for now.